My name is Simon Coronel. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I am a magician slash illusionist slash engineer slash polymath. My childhood hero was MacGyver. MacGyver's superpower was using human ingenuity to do things that look impossible. I was 18, doing a degree in psychology and software engineering, and I saw a magician showing a card trick. I was mind blown. And you know, the scientist and engineer in me was just like, I want to understand, I want to work this out. One time I was working on a trick, and I literally started like doing the algebra, and then it actually worked for the trick. The art of magic and illusion is the most fascinating thing I've ever studied in my life. Please welcome Simon Cornell. G'day. <laughs> so I like to lean into the fact that this stuff is done through sleight of hand and misdirection and human ingenuity. To me, that's so much more of an amazing thing to share than the pretense of magical powers. Let me give you an example. I'm going to create the illusion for you tonight of these poker chips traveling apparently impossibly, from one hand, my right hand, over to my left hand, one at a time. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but if there was a way to do that without you seeing them go across, that would be something to write home about. So, here we go. One at a time, from hand A to hand B. Okay, I should explain before we do this, that it happens when you're not actually expecting it to. Now, the reason that's possible is because even if you're focusing really, really closely on the chips, you can't split your attention and look at what my wrists are doing, or what's happening down at my elbows or up at my face. You get distracted for just a second and miss the moment as it apparently goes across. Okay, third time's the charm. See, now that you've seen this twice, your pattern recognition is kicking in. You're exponentially harder to catch with it. So most of you will probably actually see it this time. Here we go, third chip. Whew. No pressure. <laughs> I mean, I said you'd see it. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't lying. Okay. All right, that sucks. I'm sorry. Let's try it again. See, it's true. If I had just done the same thing a third time, you would have caught it. I had to change the moment for it to work. Final chip for realsies this time. <laughs> you see, yeah, it's a word. It's my vernacular. <laughs> the thing is, though, the problem is you guys are now basically the most attentive I think you might have been all day at this point. <laughs> and there is no force on Earth that is going to make you look away from that poker chip. So I have to do something different and more elaborate. Hide it. So that even though you know where it is, you can't be 100% certain anymore. Change the position to try and confuse your motion tracking, even bluff as to where it actually gets to, and make it completely disappear. Okay, no, really, make it completely disappear, but still travel back. Okay. Good. I was pretty happy about that. Look, I felt good. Look at yeah, Tyler's face. He seems happy, I, know, I think. I that's I'm so glad. cool. Yeah, so were you just lying to us the whole time? I mean, everything I said was true, but a lot of it was misleading. Oh. Which is, again, I mean, one of the things, like, for me, I always want to be able to tell as much of the truth as you can. Truth as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, it's frustrating that you have to lie about anything of it at all. Right. But you do have to, sadly, to create the illusion. Otherwise, there right. wouldn't be any. So, was magic your first love? Not at all. Like, it used to be one of program video games. That was actually my career dream when I was in high school. And so all that math and science, it's amazing how applicable it is when you're designing and innovating with new illusions and trying to find ways to do it better. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's check in with Penn & Teller. Cool. Boys? In comedy and in, and in magic, uh, I love it when you uh, use the truth to get where you're going. I love hanging this on misdirection, hanging this on us looking at it, doing the whole thing right out there in the front. I, I love that you're doing it with chips um, instead of coins. Uh, there's something that the audience may not think about because they may not know as much as we know, but coins are all the same color and chips are not. And that makes this much, 
much harder and much, much cooler. And I love the fact that it's right out there in our face. And I love your timing. And I love the fact that at certain times, you're really telling the truth. We are familiar with Free Fly, and it is a version of that. Uh, no, that's not right. It's not a version of that. It's the best version of that. It's really wonderful. <laughs> And they said you were the best at free fly, but is that, know do you, know that is. you know what that is. Oh, yeah. So does that mean that they know how you oh, did? Oh, yeah, they know. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's OK. But so good. But it was thank really you. good. Well, thank you so much. It's so awesome. Cool. Yeah.